It's a narrative comedy. It takes place at a wedding five minutes before the wedding starts. And it's all about uh, social media and sort of commentary on how we're really using social media to make some of life's biggest choices. So what was the inspiration for this film? Where did you come up with the story? Uh, so I worked together with my husband. He wrote the film and edited it as well. Um, and so he came to me with a script, really inspired a lot by um, our time. We, you know, we grew up in the Facebook era. Facebook was invented when we were in college. And, uh, and we've seen Facebook and social media in general grow and evolve. And it went from just sharing, you know, the coffee you had this morning to uh, do I make this big life choice, yes or no, and and literally doing what the, the world says and what they think. And so I find that a little bit terrifying, um, but I like to bring levity and comedy into my work. So this is what we ended up with. I, I think it's a good film at a good time because I have a lot of friends that are getting married and it's like, it's not official to you, made it Facebook official. It's exactly. become a buzzword now. Hashtag uh, you know, Ben and John get married, right? <laughs> so where did you film the film? We shot in Pasadena, in Los, outside of Los Angeles. That's yeah. awesome. So yeah. tell us a little bit about your cast. Yeah, so my cast is amazing. Uh, the lovely Janine Mason is our lead actress who plays Sydney, and Josh Zuckerman plays uh, Dave, and they're the bride and groom. Plus, we have this really incredible ensemble cast of characters of the wedding, the parents and the best friends, the bridesmaids and, and groomsmen, um, who a lot of who are uh, friends of mine um, that I've worked with in the past and whose work I've admired. Janine and I have worked together on our last film, Waffles, and she has known Josh for quite a long time. They've actually played a couple four times before this. So this is this is not new to them. They, they love playing uh, opposite each other. So it was pretty easy since they knew each other, know how each other flowed, that you know you can really do this. So where in Pasadena did you feel? Was it just... We shot at a church, a big, big, beautiful church in Pasadena. That's the location for the whole film. Uh, it was really, it was really important to me that the the wedding itself and the church is really a character in the film. We go throughout the whole church and all the way to the back in the kitchen. Uh, and so, yeah, so we we shot there and it was it was an amazing location. What were some of the challenges shooting in a big old church? Mm. So our, our film in particular has two long shots that go from the front of the church all the way through the sanctuary, through the halls and into the back. And so the staging of that as a one shot was really important. Um, we do the reverse as well. Uh, so we had not only a cast of about 20, but then 50 extras that we, we shot with that were the wedding guests. So we had an entire rehearsal the day before we shot so we could get the steady cam and uh, everything. So you had a rehearsal place. for the wedding. Exactly. Like, like, like normally it was like a little surreal in that way. Uh, yeah, we did. We had a rehearsal for the wedding. So was this any of this story based on you and your husband's actual wedding and living up in the Facebook uh, era? It was not, but um, after we uh, after we had the film ready to go and we were working on getting the funding for it, uh, we did come across an article in the news that said uh, about a couple who had their friends and family vote on every aspect of their wedding. So which flowers should I get? And they would go with whatever the majority uh, decided. So that was really interesting and I thought, uh, also terrifying, but we're on to something here. This is this is something that could really happen in today's day and age. Um, but Janine does wear my wedding dress from my actual wedding in the film. Interesting. Because I had it. <laughs> it was free. So One less thing out. off the uh, budget right exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. So are you guys going to make this into a feature film? Because I could see a whole lot happening before and mm -hmm. during and after that could be crazy. That's so interesting. I I love that idea. Um, but this film was really intended to be a beginning, middle, and end completed project as a short film. Um, so we we're have, just going to leave it as is. We're going to leave it as is, make people wanting more. We have a lot of other uh, features that we're working on that are in the works, and, and they're in the same dark comedy vein, but but not the same subject matter. Um, so yeah, that's that's the story with this film. So what was your reaction when you got the call from Bentonville, Arkansas, that hey, bring oh. your film here? And you know, Gina Davis and, and gang have done a really good job about inclusion and celebrating women in film and diversity. And we're, you know, they've been doing that even before it was really cool and you had buzzwords. So what was the call like, and what was your reaction? I uh, had. I got the notice and I was so excited. We had another film um, that we wanted to play here last year uh, that didn't. And so I was not sure if this film was right for this festival um, because I don't know, you know, you never know what a festival is really looking for. Um, but 
I was incredibly excited about this film festival in particular. Um, our film had, I think the actual number is 77% uh, female crew, um, almost all female keys on our on our crew. And it, that was really important to me to, to champion women. And some of the best filmmakers that I know are women. So I just brought up all my, my team of people. Um, that inclusion is not always talked about. And Gina Davis has been, as you said, doing this for years and really keeping that a part of the conversation front of the camera, behind the camera, the stories we're talking about, um, the stories we're telling our kids, what are they about, what are the female characters saying, what do they have to say, what are their ideas. So that's been, um, that's, she's really validated that for me here at this festival because every person I talk to has got a great story. And you're an act, your first was an actress and you got into filmmaking and now you make films with your husband. What have you learned about yourself in this particular project? Oh, that's such a great question. Um, I got another follow-up after that. Oh, good. It's okay. Equally as so, great. Uh, I have learned uh, about taking up space. I have, and and I heard Gina talking about this the other day. I've really learned to take the space for myself, um, know who I am, what I want, and not be afraid to to tell people um, what it is that I need. And that kind of uh, drive has kept me working as a filmmaker, um, not not being afraid to ask. For a lot of a long time, I was afraid to ask people for what I needed. I didn't want to be a problem. I didn't want to be. Uh, I wanted to be polite. I wanted to just do what I was told. And coming into the filmmaking world as a director after being an actor for so long, you are the one making those decisions. And it's important to be collaborative. And it's important to be kind and respectful. But being in charge and being a leader is what people are looking for in a director. And so coming into my own that way has been really a, a, a full circle so from when I was acting. Yeah. So you're working with your husband. He's Thanks. your filmmaking partner. Yeah. How have you grown in your marriage? You know, mm -hmm. not a lot of husband and wives get to really work with each other. If they do, sometimes, a lot of times it's disastrous. <laughs> you know, you're throwing stuff at each other and no. screaming and yelling. But, you know, talk to me about how you have grown as a couple and, you know, have you seen him grow as, as, a, as a husband? And oh, that's great. Yeah, we, so we've been together since we were pretty young, right, right in, in college. And, um... And we started out by running a photography business together. And we are, we're a really good team because um, we have different strengths, but we have the same aesthetic. So both when it came to photography and also raising our kids and also uh, you know, making films, we have a similar aesthetic for what we like. Um, I, in particular, like really sharp writing, a really smart writing and, and comedy and uh, work that has really particular pacing to it, um, and that is the work that he does. And so we have a mutual respect for each other. Um, we've always worked really well together, but it's, I think, I think working together as we're also raising our kids has been the the grounding factor in in how we've maintained such a good relationship if you are only doing the day-to-day -day and you're only with the kids and the struggle of of that raising two kids in los angeles um you don't get to have the fun and for us the fun is really going off and creating and and bouncing ideas off each other and then getting to see those ideas come to fruition so it's been it's been such a pleasure and i bet you the kids inspire you as well absolutely yeah and then and make us think and question you know what is the work we're creating why are we creating it and uh someday i'm gonna make a movie that doesn't have a bunch of swear words in it so my kids can watch <laughs> <laughs> but for now we like the language <sighs> are you taking them on the festival circuit and exposing them to the world not uh not as much i we are going to Palm Springs Short Fest next month and they are going to come with us to that because it's driving distance from Los Angeles. Um, I'm a board member of Moms in Film and so one of the things that's important to us is having childcare at festivals and that's hard to do um, but Sundance has been able to do it, South by has been able to do it. We're trying to get the get it to happen at Palm Springs as well um, and having access to childcare for filmmakers especially moms and dads who maybe they're not going to go otherwise because they don't have someone to take care of their kids and we relied on extended family a lot to come into town and watch them while we've been traveling to the film festival. So um, I, my kids are dying to go. Uh, my older one especially is very excited about Palm Springs. And 
but you know, it, it's a it's a balance because you're working. It's a job. Yeah. So t- talk a little bit about the organization you're involved in because mm-hmm. I've never thought of that as, mm-hmm. you know, something simple as having childcare at film festivals. Yeah. What other struggles that you guys are championing and hoping to change in the film festival world? Well. In particular, Moms in Film supports uh, parents in the industry. It's very difficult for um, parents to continue to work after they have kids in this industry because the industry as a whole, the film industry, has very long hours and studios and shows and film sets, they they own you basically. You know, you're gonna go 12 hours, maybe we're going 14 or maybe we're going 16, which means essentially you never see your kids if you're working and you gotta work. Um, So, Moms in Film is an advocate for good parental practices on set as well as film festivals so that you can rep your film. Um, child care is very important um, as well as um, just access to, to advocacy and support groups you know, like this. Um, I think the conversation about women in film can't happen unless we're talking about mothers as well. Um, so many young filmmakers, DPs, cinematographers, and, and below the line in particular, you know, they have a kid and then they're done in the industry. They want to. Ch- they have to go find a nine to five job because they can't keep up with the hours. And um, or the reverse, where they're in the industry, they know the the struggles of of how much they're working, and they just choose not to have kids, not because they don't want them, but because they think it's not possible. So we're here to try to bridge that gap and and fight for um, for better parent practices on, on set.